Hello everyone, welcome back to my RP2000 career in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. We will finally test our moon mission in this video. The links on the Buzz rocket is going to be done in 40 days. It's probably a death trap, but we'll try it anyway. Uh, yeah, we'll try it anyway. First we have to deal with this Mars orbiter coming in. We don't really need it, but we might as well capture it into orbit. We built these other ones and we don't need them either right now. So... We'll probably repurpose them for somewhere else. And actually, let me get the next Jupiter window up. Just in case the... whoops. Just in case the first Jupiter flyby mission doesn't work. That is the next actual contract we have to deal with. Okay. Those occur about every year or so. We could use one of these for that purpose. Well, it's facing the sun and everything. No problems there. Oh, a bit wobbly though. Okay, we are in Mars's SOI. And... Let me see if a correction needs to be done. It definitely does. Okay, well, now it's flopping all over the place. How did it start flopping all over the place? It was definitely not turning in this axis before. Anyway, node... Okay, ignition. Okay, just point at the sun again. Okay, turning. And continuing. Uh, you know what, let's check if there's any science that we can do around here. Oh, they weren't action groups. Not that one. Probably none. I mean, I've had these for a while. Alright, Mars once again. Orbit retrograde. I probably should apply it and figure it out how long this burn would take. We're maybe a little bit late, but not too late. It's only an eight minute stage. I don't even know if that capture is going to work, but again, since we've already fulfilled the missions, I'm not too worried. Okay, we got some science. Oh, the gravity scan. Highlands of Mars. It's new. Well, it's a good thing we didn't need this for anything in particular because uh, it's barely going to capture here. It'll just be another commsat. If we capture. I think we'll capture, but still uncertain. But looking at the oral bell, we're not exactly at periapsis either, so... As far as capture goes, here the eccentricity number is helpful. You see how it's ticking down towards 1. We need it to be below 1, obviously to be captured and compare that to how the delta V is ticking down and so that's, that's how you can tell whether it's gonna work out or not. But we also can't be suborbital on the periapsis or don't want to be. Smacking into Mars is an option though. Okay we have our capture. Oops, extra ignition. Okay, six day orbit right now. I, I It's got to be more useful as a commsat, so I'll leave it. Yeah, I think we'll just leave it like this. All right, no more fussing about with this particular probe. I'll check if there's any of the biome specific stuff left. Yep, a little bit of Tharsis Rise gravity scan. All right. Back to Space Center. Oh, actually, before I do that, let's point it at the sun just for the heck of it. And spin. Now back to Space Center. Alright, well, I guess I'll pick up the crewed lunar landing contract. This seems like a bad thing to do and can get me into big trouble. But... Yeah, alright, I'll pick it up. We've got four years now. But we've got a rocket that theoretically might be able to do it. I'm not sure. Uh, error check. Mass limit exceeded. Oh, we're on the wrong pad. This one. Is that the one? I guess so. Let's see. All right. Back to the big pad. Eight days to roll it out. Okay, we just... We, we need two. And I'm, I'm going to... Lemming. Ah... Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> well, if we gotta lose somebody... You know, I haven't rescued enough Kerbals. Oh, this is the USI system. Oh, that cost is high. If we have less courage. The USI system, if you have more stupidity and less courage, they're cheaper. <laughs> uh, oh, but uh, also the ones that aren't quite as useful, like colonists and stuff like that, are cheaper too. Um, let's just stick to what we've got. I'll, I'll send Jeb and Lemming. Please don't explode on the pad, please don't explode on the pad, please don't explode on the pad. <laughs> Well, it's bouncy. There it is. Nearly 2,000 tons. Let's see, we've got food, water, and oxygen. Got other stuff. Let's target the moon. Well, relative inclination is low enough for me to go. Actually, it's ticking down, so... So the core engines light in flight. Uh, will I re regret this? I don't know. SAS on, throttle is up. Ignition. Methane engines. All seem on and go. All right. We are ascending. What could possibly go wrong? Okay, we are now past the speed of sound. I'm gonna light the core engines now. There's one that failed. We have four. Oh wait, there's three that failed? Or, wait, hold on. Uh, I think we can reignite them. It might be okay. That was weird. Okay, that one that one definitely failed. The other two... I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't know what's going on anymore. There's a radial separation motor leak? That can happen? Okay, once we get to orbit, I'm turning off the failures. It's nerve-wracking. Okay, booster set. Uh, well, one of the solid rocket motors that was supposed to separate us did not do that, but it's fine. Um, thrust weight ratio is a bit low here. I'll pitch up more. Landing struts landing gear failure. <laughs> this, it's doing a lot of things right now. It's doing a lot of things. Uh, yeah. Should be okay, but we should probably have uh, lit this stage a little bit earlier to figure out if there was gonna be a failure. Well, the loss of one engine is definitely going to cut into what we have in the next stage. There will be problems. Okay, the end of this stage, and next stage. Well, at least we have two of these. But they've got more work cut out for them than they thought they would. We're not going to be able to do the entire transfer with them. Hopefully we have enough margin in the service module in particular, but we'll have to see. There's boil off as well. Well, even Jeb looks worried right now. Jeb and Lemming both look worried, but... Well, okay, no, Jeb looks a little bit happier. They, they both look happier now, okay. I thought they were looking worried for a sec, but... That seems to have changed. Alright, and shut down. 200 by 176. Uh, I would like to see 3,150, we have 2,950, so we're basically short 200 here. Not the worst ever, but not good. Uh, and again, mostly that's attributable to the fact that we lost an engine and had to pitch up a lot to make up for the low thrust-to-weight ratio on the core. 
And but otherwise, let's see what we can do. We'll still go. Yeah, I'm not gonna push things more than that. All right. So yeah, well, there's the three thousand one hundred fifty I was looking for. <laughs> it already says we've lost more. Oh no, it was just the gimbling. Is the docking port going red? I don't need that in my life. Or the whole pod is for some reason. Okay, look. I, I don't know what... I hope it's not gotten some horrible thing. Um, anyway, let's uh, undock the cap. Oh, I've got a decoupler there? No, that's just the docking port. Okay, so seriously though. Um, we've, we've had our... Let me go back to Space Center and deal with the difficulty settings on the on the failure mod. So, I hope we don't mind here. Uh but where where is it? Oh scrap. Okay. Um settings. I don't know what each of these is. Allowed failures. It should at least have the names proper. Okay, none of that. Warp 2? Is that a thing? I don't know what these are. But the, the, uh, I think these are the main failures. Okay. For now... Let me just verify that that took. Yeah, okay. But there have been existing failures like the... It says that landing gear failed. I'm not too sure about that. So, I mean, this is glowing red for some failure or another. I mean, the pod itself, the pod itself is glowing red, but what could that have been? The radial separation motor, yeah. Landing struts suffered a landing gear failure. That's one of them. Oh, wastewater leak. Okay. That's fine. I don't know if it's still working. I don't know if we still have a wastewater leak. But the mod is still there. It's not like I removed the mod, so... Presumably there's a wastewater leak, and that actually sort of helps anyway. We would do a wastewater dump anyway, but... Okay, uh, that's not the worst thing that can happen. Okay, these little guys are very weak for this stage, but it's okay. Just need to give them enough time. I really shouldn't have had so much MMH and Mon3 in here. Yeah, that's crazy. They look like little tanks, but they're too much. Okay, ignition. I'll just keep firing those little guys. Every little bit counts. Okay, this is about to run out, but before we can fix our approach to the moon because we're gonna fall short, we have to do transposition and docking. Okay, well, shut off. Still 200 short. Okay, let's see if this works. Um, this should be on kill rotation. Uh, there's no actual control. Well, the lander should have a controller, so it should be fine. Okay. Okay. Okay, don't don't do too much. Control from here. Set us target. Over on this side, can we really kill rotation? Come on. <laughs> These little guys are weaker than I thought. I thought and we should probably have had 400 newton ones. It's going to be a bit tedious, though we won't waste fuel, I guess. And we might as well get the solar panels out now. There's the faulty landing strut. Alright, we have docked. And... a couple. Nope, not you. <laughs> not you. Sure, we're controlling from there. All right, we need to replot. Mm, Delta V wise, it's a bit rough. I 
I'm gonna have to see about that. Okay, but we'll try it for now. I'm still gonna go with the free return sort of mode here. 204, we better start now. Oh well, I'll have to move that a little bit further forward. I'm gonna have to model this in the VAB to see whether we can safely capture or not. I really could do with a faster turn rate. Okay, you're not on, right? Okay. Ignition. Still basically 45 tons to the moon, almost. It would have been. I was trying to get to somewhere particular on the moon, but we're we're not doing that this time. I know, we, we're supposed to be going for dep deposits and such, but... Uh, this is just a test mission. Okay, so we've got a proper orbit around the moon. We've got 1,213 left. It takes 800 to capture and 800 to leave, but the 800 to leave does not have to be done with the lander attached. So I'm going to go to the VAB and see if we can manage this without the lander. Uh, I mean, manage the return without the lander, but it, it seems like it's going to be a little bit tight anyway. But let's check in the VAB how much we have without the lander after we do a capture burn. And why don't we just plot the capture burn right now? So let's say we're expecting to spend, we're getting there a little, little bit fast, I guess, because we're spending a lot, 842. Okay, to the VAB. Okay, I've gone ahead and locked the lander fuel and all the methane. And basically, well, we, we want to get down to having 400 left. Let, I think uh, it'll be a little bit less than this. So let's say 2,000 and 2,000 first. Four oh four. Nineteen sixty nine. How about that? <laughs> nineteen. That's a lucky number. Okay, nineteen sixty nine on each. Okay, then I take this off. It has a thousand, which is enough to come back, but it's dangerous. But it's enough. What's the minimum? We're taking 850 to capture. Let's say we want 900, right? 1776. We go for we go for years here. Seems right. Okay, well that's 1776 is good enough. We'll just call that the minimum here. Now, mind you, they're going to be consuming some food, water, and oxygen along the way, so that could help. But it's it's getting tight here, so. We're still go, but it's rough. <laughs> we'll try to capture around the moon here. All right, we didn't need any corrections and we we're approaching the moon. Probably a good thing that we don't need any corrections because the margins are so tight. I'm actually pondering shutting off the RCS thrusters on, the, on that stage and turning them on the lander, but maybe we shouldn't do that. I, I'll avoid doing that, but... It's a consideration. I will try to turn very, very softly. But it's not really 400 that we'll have left after this. It's a lot closer to the minimum. 14 minute burn time. I may not get directly into the low orbit. We might stop a little bit short just to be a little bit more conservative and make the lander ascend a little bit more. Okay, ignition. It's gonna be a bit. As far as lander boil off is concerned, not a problem. We've lost like one unit of methane and uh, two of liquid oxygen there. So, yeah, it's pretty much intact.
So we probably should have used the methane oxygen stage here too. But... Well, we're on the far side of the moon, but we do have some communication here. Uh, we have all these satellites to help us. Well, not all these satellites. Some satellites to help us. Well, let me cut right here and come around. We've still got 80 left to do here. I don't know if I want to do all 80. Just for safety's sake on this time, we'll uh, leave the apoapsis high and ask the lander to do the rest if possible. And then if it's not possible, the service module will come down to meet the lander. Instead of carrying the lander to the lower orbit, the lander will get into the lower orbit and then we'll just make up the difference at the back end. So uh, 200 kilometer apoapsis is what I'm aiming for. At least we don't have to do an RCS burn in order to reorient here. So it will be Jeb going to the surface, as it should be. This is the way, etc. But I'm not going to do that this time. I think I deserve a cliffhanger here. So after we get this burn done, I'm going to leave it and we'll find out whether Jeb and Lemming can return safely and whether Jeb can land on the surface next time. So far, we can manage it, but there's so many things that need to go right. Okay, ignition. At least we've turned off random failures. <laughs> so at least there's that. So that's not a thing. But we do have some failures existent, like the landing gear there. I don't know what's going to happen. Probably tilt to one side. Okay, good enough. About 400 left. And that's below the 1963 number, but just above the 1776 number on the Mon 3 and MMH. And we do have an imbalance between the two, so uh, this doesn't take the same amount of MH and Mon 3, apparently. We'll have to see. Okay, but I'm going to leave it here. So next time we'll figure out whether this works or not. And I wish the wastewater was leaking more. Maybe we should dump that. Oh, do I not have ship? I thought I had ship manifest, but I don't see it there. Okay, well, we'll leave that for now. So, with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.